security and stability handicaps the development and growth of Africa, hindering our efforts to push back the frontiers of development. But as you are aware, much is not a part of a rather less wrecked and wretched continent, but that of a continent emerging from partnership for Africa's development. Young people across the continent whose resonance of feeling is well captured in a poem by a young Mozambican Raphael which reads in part as follows and I quote we want today to be men of tomorrow. We do not want tomorrow to be where we are. Close quote. In conclusion, Mr. President, let me say that today as I stand here, I'm confident that South Africa, Africa as a whole and the world await this great giant of Africa to build on his, its successes and to stride into the next century. Much as this is a celebration of the milestone of your country, it is equally to our continent. May Nigeria continue to be an inspirational road start to many of our countries. May your country continue to make the continent proud with its achievements. And as I conclude, I would like to wish you, Mr. President, the best of health, strength, and wisdom. And this alone, I want to say to the people of Nigeria, and I want to say it with all the conviction of its truth. Like super eagles, you will fly. Africa will rise, and I thank you for your attention. very profound statement. We took note particularly of your tribute to the Super Eagles and we will not disappoint you. Thank you. May I respectfully invite the distinguished president of Swazi Prime Minister of Swaziland to please give us his goodwill message. Thank you, sir. Nigeria, Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, Honorable Heads of Delegations, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, may I register the apologies of His Majesty King Swati III for being unable to attend this auspicious conference due to other duties of state. He appreciates the kind invitation by the President of Nigeria. Excellencies, on behalf of His Majesty and Her Majesty, the Queen Mother of the Kingdom of Swaziland, my delegation thanks the President, the government and people of Nigeria for the very warm reception and hospitality accorded to us. Swaziland is in solidarity with the people of Nigeria during the sad loss of innocent lives as a result of terrorist action. 
these events underline the importance of the theme of this conference, Human Security, Peace and Development, Agenda for 21st Century Africa. Swaziland congratulates Nigeria as you celebrate 100 years of coexistence and the amalgamation of the country. the students at Nigerian universities in the capital technical assistance at the period Nigeria participates in the economic development of Swaziland as an investor. Very good reason to sincerely thank Nigeria for being a true friend and partner in our development. Swaziland ages so the of human security, peace and development. It is indeed a necessary agenda for 21st century Africa. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, the Prime Minister of Swaziland, for your statement. May I now invite the Prime Minister of Cote d'Ivoire to please give his good message. Thank you, sir. of the Federal Republic Dr. of Nigeria, Dr. Goodluck Ibele Jonathan, Your Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, Your Excellency, Mr. President Goodluck Jonathan, for me, it is a great honor and pleasure to represent the President of the Republic of Côte d'Ivoire, His Excellency, Mr. Alassane Ouattara, at the centenary of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. First of all, permit me to convey to this August Assembly the importance with which the head of state of Côte d'Ivoire, the president, Alassane Ouattara, as the current chairman of ECOWAS, which he calls to this day, which celebrates the unity and cohesion within a country which is both a brother and a friend, and that is the Federal Republic of Nigeria. For reasons beyond his control, he was unable to attend the ceremony. He asked me to convey to his friend and brother, the president of the the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, to the people of Nigeria, his sincere apologies for his unavoidable absence. We stand by the great people of Nigeria to celebrate 100 years after the amalgamation 